So this week's video, I decided that I wanted to see if I could hand make a little trinket dish um, using the air dry clay from DAS or DAS, I'm still not sure how to pronounce it. Anywho, um, I had seen something online where it looked easy enough to just create a ball using the clay and then mold that into a bowl shape. Being that I am not the not the best when it comes to shaping things, my bowl came out a little wonky. Um, so most of this entire project was me trying to get this in a shape that I liked and that I felt like was at least mostly even because as I was doing it, it was difficult for me to get the sides to be the same thickness and to get um, some of the lumps and dips out of the bowl itself. Eventually, I decided that I was just going to embrace how uh, not smooth my bowl was and um, highlight that using some paint near the end. But for just a moment, you can enjoy me um, flailing about trying to figure out how to get this in shape. So it took a couple of days to get this piece to dry. I did end up sitting it by um, this baseboard space heater that I have and that helped speed up the drying process a little bit. But after it dried, I went ahead and I sanded it lightly. And then I um, decided that I wanted to use that kind of peachy pink uh, mica powder that you see over on the side there in the background. Um, the color itself is called Mermaid. I'm not exactly sure um, where I purchased it. I think it was from Amazon, but it was years and years ago. So um, hopefully there's something like that online, <laughs> I'm not sure. But anywho, what I ended up doing was I decided that I wanted to paint the bowl black. And I thought that by painting the bowl black, that I could then wipe that pigment powder all over the bowl and it would give me this really beautiful um, outcome. What I ended up getting was not quite what I was expecting. And what I mean by that is that the color itself wasn't true to what it looks like in the package. Um, and it was shiny, but it seemed to come across more of a, like a gold with a pink tint versus that peachy pink that it looks like in person. So after uh, playing around with that, I decided to mix the pigment with the Liquitex gloss medium and that got the color that you're looking at here on the screen and it is glorious. I was really happy with that. I went ahead and also mixed a gold uh, pigment with that same gloss medium and used that to add some detail around the rim and around the sides of the dish so that it could look like, uh, you know, I was intentionally making it a funky little uh, trinket bowl. <laughs> um, but I, I really love 
or I like the way that it turned out. And it's been really useful. I mean, I still have it and I use it to just kind of hold things when I need to put something down. And it's sitting, um, it was in my bedroom at first, but now it's back in the workspace area because I'm using it the whole toothpicks for when I need to use one to pop air bubbles or um, lift things out of resin that I just poured. So it's very useful. And uh, stay tuned because I'll have another video where I try playing with the clay again because obviously this could have been better. <laughs> so um, I'm still gonna keep working on the clay, but hopefully you guys liked the video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.